Bob is now the proud business owner of his own French-inspired bakery. However, under closer examination of the financial statements, he realizes the business has been suffering for quite some time due to increasing costs. Bob wants to find out why costs have been increasing. After attending the CMS lecture on cost behavior, he knows there are a number of key concepts that he needs to understand to be able to manage costs in his bakery. Bob remembers that there is an important relationship between cost pools, cost drivers, and cost objects. Cost pools are groups of a particular type of cost. For example, total costs can be broken up into period costs and product costs. Product costs include direct material, direct labor, and overheads. Each of these cost groups can be further disaggregated. For instance, overheads will often include cost pools, such as depreciation, utilities, insurance, and other indirect costs to the product. Cost drivers are the factors or activities that cause costs to be incurred. Cost drivers link cost pools to cost objects. Common cost drivers include labor hours, machine hours, or the number of products manufactured. Cost objects are items to which costs are assigned. Essentially, it is anything that an organization wants to know the cost of. Common cost objects are the products and services of the firm, such as a chop chip cookie. For example, the number of machine hours allows electricity costs to be associated with the different products of the bakery, such as cookies. The more machine hours used in the production of cookies, the more electricity costs would be allocated to this product. Understanding major cost drivers in a firm is critical, as these are the factors that cause costs to be incurred. Bob knows that to be able to manage costs, he will need to understand their behavior. Cost behavior describes how a cost changes in relation to a cost driver. Bob remembers that there are a number of common patterns of cost behavior. Fixed costs are costs that remain constant in relation to changes in the cost driver. For example, rent costs will stay constant regardless of the number of products produced by Bob's bakery. Fixed costs can be categorized as either committed costs or discretionary costs. Variable costs involve a proportional relationship between the cost and the cost driver. The graph has a y value of zero and the gradient represents the variable cost per unit of activity. For example, the cost of flour used in cookies would increase in direct proportion to the number of cookies produced. Step fixed costs are costs that remain fixed over a small range of activity, but will increase or decrease outside that range. Unlike variable costs, the intercept of the line is not zero, but represents the fixed component of the costs. Semi-variable costs are those costs that contain both fixed and variable cost components. For example, with electricity costs, there is a fixed payment for the supply of electricity, whereas the rate per kilowatt hour is the variable component. This variable component changes in relation to how many hours of electricity are used by the bakery. Now that Bob understands these core cost behavior concepts, his next task is to estimate the behavior of the major costs in his bakery. This will allow him to manage his costs and improve profitability of the bakery.